Hey, what's going on, guys? Alex with NBC 11 Live, Team 1-1, born to compete for the best in high school sports coverage. Make sure you check us out Friday nights, man. Look, I got one of the best in the business right here. You talk about can do it all, man. He does everything on the field, but like paint the field. Like literally, that's kind of what he does right now, man. I, I think I've seen him in the concession stand selling hot dogs. I saw him at the front <laughs> gate selling tickets. Jaquez Evans from Mays. What's going on, man? What's up? How you feeling? Good. Yeah? Good. You a little nervous right now? I see you swinging the chair right now. You I'm good? Going. I'm good. All I'm right. Good. Okay, good. Let's talk about on the field last year. Team had some success? Yeah, we had some success. We lost um, 32 scenes. Yeah. So we had, we had like 11 of them go to D1 college. So. Yeah. Let's just talk about on the field in general. You guys kind of went a little further in the, play, further in the playoffs. Yeah, third you know, round. Third round. Be some pretty good teams. Yeah. How was last year? How, tell me about it from your standpoint. We did good, but... Like, we was, we was together as a team, but yeah. we just we need to work on some more and practice. Like, yeah. So, defense was A1. So they were. Yeah. They were. Offense, I was the, I was like, I was in my first time really starting quarterback in yeah. high school, so yeah. I didn't really know what to do. Yeah. But I had caught on, so we did. I had pretty good. I did pretty good. Okay. You've gotten a lot of attention. Yeah. A lot of colleges. Yeah. They come talking to you. And, and, and let me throw this out there real quick. You know, we, he won, I want to say, athlete of the year for us back in the day when he was in eighth grade, also named APS player of the year. So he's had some success for a very long time. But some of the college that's been interested in you, I know you want to kind of break it down to a top five today. Who would those top five schools be? Um, Georgia Tech. Uh -huh. Say South Florida. Yeah. West Virginia. Mm -hmm. Pittsburgh. Uh -huh. Kentucky. At Kentucky. You, you want to throw another one in there, make a top six or something? Are you feeling good with that five? I do. I feel good with that five. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. So out of all those schools, you know, just name two of them that's really kind of stood out to you. Um, Georgia Tech and um, Kentucky. Yeah. Why is that? Um, Kentucky, because um, like the coach comes see me like mostly every time. Yeah. Every time you get a chance, we yeah. come down to the, yeah. we come out to the school every time. So yeah. I get to show I get to show them like what I can do. Okay. My, like because I got offered as a DB, so yeah. I get working out as a DB. Mm -hmm. And Georgia Tech, like they tell me, like like after like oh. life after sports. So yeah, so yeah. And my brother, like he he come down with me too. So mm -hmm. he tell me like like it'll be a good choice for me. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. I tell you what, Georgia Tech is academically they're strong. Yeah. They're strong. You come out there, great degree, great job, the whole nine. And if you do play quarterback at Georgia Tech, jeez. Yeah, that would be awful. <laughs> yeah. Boy, that, that'd be tough right there. <laughs> Don't want to say nothing bad about Kentucky. Obviously, uh, at DB, he, he's phenomenal as well. But this offseason, kind of what are you working on, man? What's, what's your big uh, thing that you're trying to really get after? Uh, work it out. I work out, working out every time, go to camps. Yeah. Going to Miami camp. Yeah. Mercer camp. Yeah. Kenneth, uh, like Kennesaw camp, all of them. All of them. Uh, what have you been trying to do, like, to really improve your craft? Work out like at every position I can. Yeah. So other guys can see what I can do. So. What sticks out to you? Cause I know you can do it all. I mean, is it one of them things where you just like, I don't care what it is, whatever I'm, whatever I'm asked to play today is what I'm gonna play, or is it like, I do like quarterback. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I like getting that pill and, and going somewhere with it, you know, scoring touchdowns or throwing passes and leading my team, whatever it might be. Or, hey, you might like defensive back, you know, getting an interception, hitting somebody. I don't know. What, what's it like really sticks out to you? Uh, I like where I receive it too, though. Yeah, I know. Because like, I like the ball in my hand, so yeah. I like to make a move. So. Yeah. And quarterback, mm -hmm. I can play quarterback. It's just mm -hmm. like whatever coach need me to play, I do it. I love it. I love it. All right, what can we expect out of your team this year, man? Um, we're a new team, so mm -hmm. the only thing we do is just work hard every practice. So got to grind every time, every chance we get, because we got two games back to back on TV. Yeah? Yeah. Who you and got? We got North Cross first game, then we got Miami Central. I mean, no, um, Alabama Central. How you feeling about your team chances going into that? We're going we to be, gonna be good. It's going to be challenging. Yeah. So yeah. got to work. Anything else you want to say? No. You good? Maze right forever. Maze, look here, man. One thing I can say about this guy right here, every time I've seen him play, he's always been one of the top three players on the field, hands down. So I'm excited to see what he's going to do this year. Jacquez Evans, <laughs> one of the best <laughs> players out there. <laughs> Something just happened in the background. We'll tell you about that another time. But Jacquez Evans, one of the best players out there at Mays High School. Make sure you check him out this year. He will be putting on a show. Just make sure you tune in, all right? And make sure you check us out Friday nights, Team 1-1. For the best in high school sports coverage. Take care, guys. We're out.